Wow, that's a really cool shrimps. Ooh, very interesting. What do you think about the shrimp? Look at the legs as well, very blue. And the body is like, wow. I've never seen that before. It's like blue bolt with some very dark blue on the tail. Hi everyone, welcome back to Shrimp Mania. Today I'm gonna call my shrimps from some of my shrimp tanks. And the first shrimp tank is here behind me. It's my mixed tank. So let's start with this tank. This tank is my mixed tank and I do have some decent great shrimps here. As you can see, I do have some Pintas and Galaxy shrimps. So today's mission is to call some of the good looking shrimps from this tank and move them to the different tanks. For example, I do have some Galaxy shrimps here and I want to move them into my Galaxy tanks. And I do have some uh, red Pinto shrimps and black Pintas. So you can see this is the black Pinto shrimp here on your screen. And this shrimp will be going to my black Pinto shrimp tank. So I'm not calling the bad shims from this tank, bad looking shims, I'm calling the good looking shims today, yeah. And I already prepared uh, some containers, so one for Red Galaxy, Black Galaxy and Black Pinto shims. So let's give them some food and take a proper look at them. Okay, this shrimp is good for Black Pinto shrimp tank. I can show you here now. Yeah, this is quite black shrimp, so you can see this is Black Pinto zebra. So this is going to my black pinto shrimp tank. And this box is for black pinto shrimp. I'll take a look at that shrimp on this UGF box. I think that's quite nice. Black pinto shrimp as well. Uh, let me catch you. Yeah, that's a good looking uh, black pinto shrimp. It's going to my black pinto tank. Go. I can see a good red galaxy over there. So this one is quite decent, great. I think that would be good enough to put it in my Red Galaxy tank. What do you think? Mm, it doesn't look very good, but yeah, it should be okay. I think it's male. And this is going to be my box for for Red Galaxy shrimps. So I have Red Galaxy, Black Pinta and Black Galaxy. Oh, here is another Red Galaxy shrimp. It's, it's not super nice, but look, look fine, look decent. Oh, I can see some very good black pinto shrimp here. Let me just catch it. So you can see it. Yeah, this is quite nice black pinto shrimp. Definitely going to my black pinto tank. Oh, that's another black pinto shrimp. It's quite nice as well. Yeah, this one, this one quite good. It has a lot of white, I think, but that's good enough. That's good enough, really. Let's put it in the middle box where I have a black pinto shrimps. Straight away I see another black pinto, this one. No, not you, this one. Yes, that's quite nice black pinto shrimp. Come on, can I catch it? It's very quick shrimp, this one. Yeah, that's in the net now. This one, another black pinto. It's quite a nice black pinto as well. Maybe even like a panda or king kong, but it doesn't matter. It's just as long as it's black, most of the body is black and has a black leg coloration, is good enough for my black pinto tank. Okay, this shrimp is look quite nice, but I, I don't think I can put it in my black galaxy tank. And it has a good spot on the head, but it doesn't have anything on the tail. It's like a white tail, it's like a just a pinto spotted head, but it's not galaxy. But I think this one, that one, I can see a good shrimp here just to show you. I think this one I can put in my black galaxy tank. This one definitely can put in black, black galaxy tank. So the second shrimp for black galaxy. So why I'm doing this also guys, because I have quite a lot of shrimps here. I recently merged another tank, this tank on the left, and I put a lot of shrimps from that tank here. And just to make more room for them to breed, so just to create more space for them, uh, the fewer the shrimps, the quicker the breed, right? So make a little arrangement. So I'm not sure about this shrimp. Can I put it in black pinter? No, I don't think so. Now I can see another good looking black pinter shrimp. On this moss, let me try to catch catch this shrimp. Yeah, I think it's quite decent grade shrimp. So this one good enough for black pinto shrimp tank. 
so we put it in black pinter box here here you go this is nice shrimp oh that's two galaxy shrimps i just catch i think they quite look quite nice not perfect of course but they're good enough for my galaxy tank so one has um, like a spots but not very good tail but a very good spots like a blue color which is nice but one is escape let me catch it yeah here yeah. so let let's move him to box where i'm gonna put in my black galaxy here, here my black galaxy box here you go yeah i'm not sure about this frame uh, it's look quite nice mm, but the tail is quite wide but that one in the net, the small one here, this one quite good. I might be put this one as well. I think I put this one as well. Why not? Looking good. So this is my black galaxy shrimps in this box. Put it here. This is another black galaxy shrimp I have here. So this one is uh, is look okay as well. It's not very good tail, but I can move it to black galaxy shrimp tank. I think. Let's put it here. And that's another two black galaxy shrimps. I think they're decent great, yeah. Uh, not really, the tail white again, but they are they are okay, yeah, they're okay. They should be fine. That's another black galaxy shrimp. Yeah, I think it's it, it's good enough to move to black galaxy tank. Later when I have a lot of black galaxy shrimps, I'm gonna call them, but for now this shrimp will be good enough for me. On this one, quite nice red galaxy actually. Nice dots, fish bone, very good. So definitely going to my red galaxy shrimp tank. I was thinking to take this one, but no, it's not good enough. It's not black, it's not red galaxy. And this one as well. It's not good enough, I think. It doesn't have any spots, you see. Just only one or two. So probably not gonna take it as well. It's another two look like the red galaxy, but they're more like the red pinto shrimps. Move the food with the shrimp. Yeah, they all like to be in a net. This one is like black pinto, but too much white. And this one too much white as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna move two of the shrimps into my black galaxy tanks. That, that one is, the bigger one is, doesn't look very good, but it has a blue color slightly on the body, so which is quite nice. So if it's crossed with my black galaxy, I hope she can pass that blue color to them. So let's move these two shrimps here, from here, to my black galaxy box. This one, it look like a tiger shrimp, galaxy tiger shrimp. I'm not sure if I can move it to a galaxy shrimp tank uh, because it definitely has some tiger patterns so I'm not gonna move it to my black galaxy that's another shrimp which I'm gonna move to black galaxy tank it has a blue tint a blue, slightly blue color take a look at this shrimp I think it has like a metallic color very nice you can see that reflection from the from the shell very nice it's like a tiger galaxy tiger but metallic so i'm gonna kind of leave the shrimp here in this tank and that's another shrimp i want to move to black galaxy tank it has a nice spots on the head again tail is not perfect but i like the the spots on the head a little bit blue color as well so this one going to my black galaxy tank and this one also quite decent black galaxy shrimp not perfect tail again but the head is quite nice good color on the head and no you need to go on a net yeah like this so this one going to my black galaxy tank as well oh my god that's she's so quick yeah okay let's put black galaxy box here Okay, this one another galaxy shrimp. Decent grade. This one is okay actually. I like this one. Okay, that's it. I called most of the shrimps from this tank I wanted to call. And let's take a look at them. And okay, here you go. This is my 
black galaxy shrimps in this box so this is the first box and yeah take a look at the at them so they look okay some of them some of them good some of them just so so but i will call them later from my galaxy tank once i have lots of shrimps there i will take some of the bad looking shrimps from that tank but yeah they look okay take a look at the black pinta shrimps uh, like a galaxy but no dots also good looking good and there are some red galaxy shrimps not many of them only three i think yeah one two three three so they 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 okay so this one a little bit pale i'm not sure maybe i don't take this one i'll think about this I'm definitely happy with the black pinter shrimps they're going in my black pinter tanks seven of the black pinters here and we have quite a lot of the galaxy shrimps black galaxy shrimps yeah okay now let's acclimate them and put them in the new tanks okay i just completed acclimating the shrimps and this is red galaxy shrimps only three of them and i have some red galaxy shrimps in this tank so they're gonna go in this tank here i have some black pinter shrimps in this tank and we're gonna add some black pinters into this tank they're all gonna go in this tank and here in this part of the room i acclimating the black galaxy shrimps water parameters in all my tanks are almost identical so i don't need to acclimate my shrimps for a very long time i normally do it for one hour that's enough for them and so now let's release all my shrimps into the tanks And this is my another shrimp tank and here I have lots of blue balls and blue steel shrimps and recently they start to breed and they made a lot of pinter shrimps for me because they all came from uh, pinters and galaxy shrimps all these blue balls so they have some pinter genes in them and they keep producing me some pinter shrimps so you can see here I have a black pinter some black galaxy shrimp and some red galaxy shrimp here as well so all of this Pinter shrimps I want to move to the Pinter shrimp tanks so here I have quite nice looking red galaxy shrimp let's just take it from this tank yeah here you go so you can see it's quite decent grade it's not too bad so it's going to my red galaxy shrimp tank okay let's take a look at this shrimp and this is just black Pinter shrimp I'm probably going to put it in the mixed tank here we have another this is actually galaxy shrimp this is definitely galaxy shrimp so this is going to my black galaxy shrimp tank take a look at this shrimp yeah look at this grade of galaxy shrimp so this first box is going to be for galaxy shrimp so it's going to be in this box this is another galaxy shrimp not very good grade but a decent grade is fine yeah it's very good black galaxy actually by the way take a look at this shrimp it's okay it's good great I like it this is another very little black galaxy shrimp this one or oh, maybe not no it's not black galaxy it's just a pinter shrimp so I'm gonna move it to mixed tank okay what we have here another another pinters and galaxies here so this one is just normal pinter shrimp this one no not the blue balls <laughs> blue ball go away please this shrimp is let me see it's just a pinter shrimp it's not galaxy don't have any spots have a little bit spots but mm, i don't know where i should put it pinto or galaxy yeah let's put it in the pinter tank i mean in mixed tank my mixed tank is second box here another shrimp here and this is again 
just a normal pinter thing. Mm, it's difficult to say. They're still quite small. Yeah, I think it's galaxy shrimp. It's nice fish bone pattern and has some spots. Yeah, let's put it in a galaxy shrimp tank. So. This one has a nice spot, but nothing in the tail, like a white plain tail. So I think it's going to be in my pin, uh, mixed tank or pinter tank. Yeah. This one is, let me grab it. Yeah, here. Yeah. I think this one good enough for galaxy. Yeah, that's a, definitely galaxy. Some spots. Fish bone, not perfect, but good enough. Take a look at this shim. Yeah, this one is has a spots. Not good fish bone at the back, just a plain. A little bit of, yeah, because it, it has a little bit of black at the to, at the bottom of the tail. I think this shim is good enough for Black Galaxy shim tank. So let's put it in Black Galaxy box. Which is here. Yeah, here you go. Definitely no galaxy one, just a pinter. It's good pinter, by the way. It's nice blue color as well on the head. So, so I like this one, very nice legs. So this one goes to pinter, mixed tank. Because this one very small. Yeah, I can take it, that's fine, why not? It's big enough. Oh, this kind of nice shrimp, look at this. This shrimp has some nice patterns actually. I'm probably gonna take it from this stream tank. Oh, this is like a half cider. I know, it's just a, has very interesting patterns. Take a look at this shrimp. Wow. I noticed that before, but it, it was small. Now I see that it's grown up a bit. Ooh, very interesting. What do you think about the shrimp? Look at the legs as well, very blue. And the body is like, wow, it's like a stripes and it's not like symmetrical as well. So you can see one side is different from to another side. Oh, actually I have another one here. Look at this one. Oh, that's even, even, even better this one. Wow, that's a really cool shrimps. This one, these two shrimps, this one and that one. Oh, take a look at this one as well never seen that before it's like blue boat with some very dark blue on the tail oh we definitely need to take them out from this tank I'm probably gonna put them in the mixed tank for now then we'll see what we're gonna do with them well take a look at them nice they look fantastic look awesome Awesome shrimps, guys. Okay, let's take them both from this tank. So they're going in my mixed tank. Then we will see what we're gonna do with them. Maybe in the later stage, I see what, how, what's the gender they are. If they're females or males, we're gonna, we're gonna probably crossbreed them with some, some, something else. Maybe, maybe if they crossbreed with pinters. They're gonna give us some also interesting babies, I hope. Yes, yeah, some blue balls are very blue. Yeah, take a look at this one. Yeah, very blue. So let's find another shrimp. This one, the red one. So the red one, the red shrimp is it's just a pinter shrimp. It's not black, not red galaxy. So I'm gonna put it in the mixed tank as well. I think that one another pinter shrimp. Let me grab it. Yeah, just a normal pinter shrimp as well. Okay, what else we have? There's another pinter, small one. Just normal pinter. Spot it here a little bit. Yeah, let's take it to the pinter tank. Why blue boat came? I didn't ask you to go with me. Go. Pinter, you stay. Blue boat, go. Another small pinter here. I can see it. Yeah, let's take to the pinter tank as well. Let me show you a discussion from the moss. This one is. Mm, please don't run too fast. Can it go to Galaxy Tank, you think? Mm, yeah, I think it can go into Galaxy. Maybe not. Difficult to, to see that when it's moving. Yeah, let's put to Galaxy, galaxy Tank. That's fine. 
I can see another one on the box here. This is what is this? This is Galaxy Fishbone. Definitely Galaxy. Yeah, nice. Has some spots as well. A little spots, not not too many spots, but that's fine. That's good enough for my Galaxy tank. I don't have uh, high grade anyway. Need to call them later. I see something at the back. Let me grab it. So what we have here? Um, yeah, just a pinter thing. Yeah, just pinter. I have one on a filter, red one. Let's see if it's good enough for Red Galaxy stream. Is it good enough for Red Galaxy? You think? I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think it's okay. It's okay for a galaxy. It's not well, not good grade, but that's okay. That's fine. Go to Red Galaxy box. Only have a two shrimps in Red Galaxy box. Lots of pinters and galaxy as well. I'm gonna properly look later. Another little baby there on the moss. Very little one. Let's see. Just pinter shrimp. Definitely pinter shrimp. Well, that's another one on the moss here. Let's catch the shrimp. Okay, here you go. What we have here is a galaxy. Yeah, I think it's galaxy. It's good enough for galaxy shrimp tank. Uh, is it good enough for galaxy one? Yeah. Yeah, let's put it in a galaxy tank. It's fine. Oh yeah, I can see another one there. Let's just see if it's good enough for a galaxy. It's, it's red, red, red shrimp. It has nice spots on the head. But tail is is not so great. What do you think? Yeah, I think I moved to red galaxy shrimp. That's fine. That's fine. You passed the, the test. So one shrimp just behind the filter. I see that. I'm waiting for the shrimp. Oh, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, oops. I catch it. Mm, yeah, maybe it's a red galaxy, but it's very bad grade because the coloration is very pale. So I'm gonna put the shrimp in my mix tank. Let's take a proper look at our shrimps, what we have here. So here we have a galaxy shrimp, like a decent grade. Yeah, so we have around nine of them here in this box. So they're all active and waiting for new home. That's good. So here we have our beautiful shrimp here, yeah. We have 15 of them. Wow, that's super good, yeah. 15 of just the pinter shrimps and like a just unknown shrimp <laughs> I call it a beautiful unknown shrimp which look like a blue bolt and that's another one there at the back you can see it there very beautiful yeah so we have like a 15 of them all together they're going to be in my mixed tank and then we, we, we decide what we're gonna do with this beautiful shrimps later yeah maybe we can try to breed them yeah that would be nice to have colony shrimps like like that that would be very good. Here we have some red galaxies. Yeah, ish. <laughs> Not exactly red ga galaxy. Yeah, red galaxy, I would say. Just a mixed grade. Medium, low grade, I would say. Three of them only. So, yeah, 15 of these shrimps. Nice. It's amazing, guys. They all came from blue steels and blue balls. Very nice. So, it's like a free shrimp. We call all these pinters and Oh no, that's one left. That one left. My mistake. Let's take the last one out. I don't think it's more left. I think this is the last one. This is just a normal pinter shrimp. Yes, the last one. Some blue balls are insane color. Very good. Maybe in the future I can call them. Okay, we just completed the cremation process. Here are another shrimps. They look gorgeous. Let's put them in the tanks.